Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlo down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up, until I came home one night and found my husband gone, and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot she give. looks wider than and a ghost. my Isco is paying the price. She's going through it. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may <laughs> sound silly. But those were his codes. Gosh, for a bit, door. those fucking days. He would never have let that happen. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco. But he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. That's uh, quite the commute there. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. <sighs> we're, we're, we're too far beyond that you. there. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Have you, um, works you guys ever seen Victor Borge? I check there. Please tell me you didn't take uh, Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Is, is that enough? Uh, may I interest you in a stunning what, what? today? Have you guys ever seen uh, Victor Borge? Help. No. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. Uh, he's a comedian. You know the Bickles? Mm. All right. 
But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort came into the, the shop to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to That's check pretty on crazy the considering in I this world he's not even alive yet. Turned out to be a non-existent lord. Right, because I thought this is in the future. He was it's holding in the, the past. In the past. What was in the note. It was um, a note from Rosie Hill, yeah. Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been well secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping. Oh, really? I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note that might help me to identify it should I come across it? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was So, real. you guys, can I tell you something cool that I just found out? What? Thank you for telling me. So, I'm in Korea. Evidence to take Hollow down. I, I had no idea this thing. To see him in Their escapade. academic Be year careful. starts from He's March until February. So you That's have your first term you from March to I July, followed by a month of summer school. holidays, and then your second Master. term goes from September to February. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. And then with a one and a half right month track. break to find the last of during mid-September to late January. Do you guys think that would be better than starting from September till June? Um, or do you think that would be worse? I feel like it would be worse. That second term seems really, really long. From September to February? I yeah. Think Phil, but must be around here somewhere. With a break in December. Hello there. In January. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. Mm, I don't know. I wondered if I might you would have you about your dealings with mid-December to Harlow. late January. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering. But so technically, you don't even no get tragic. three months what of summer. Right. You wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. That's I feared Harlow's slightly weird. And so I refused. You might, you might get maybe two months, and then you get off in the, in the winter. Because if, if, if it goes to July, you'd have July and August, and then you'd go back. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, but as a kid, one she that would suck. never had the chance to celebrate. I had the book and then they graduate in February. In How weird is One that? One day, Harlow oh came calling gosh. to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that I don't know. Brookwood's lot. Because we have... I knew it, I'd been petrified. And Harlow we have was um, right um, a week around and Christmas, but we still have to go to school the month of plate. December. I watched helplessly. Here, you would get the month of the middle, the, the middle of book. December Nothing off until the end of January. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine hmm. you fear Harlow retaliating again. But, but then wait. Do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> no. 
I suppose Never mind. I, have no I was going to say, when you get you now, you're in the first forever. term. You can pass you? it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Ooh. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Also, to find Natty. their grade levels, so high school, you start at 10th grade. So, 16 and 17, so it's like 10th, 11th, and then 12th, if you think about it. <gasps> That's trippy. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> But wait, if you started in March, like to be late, but you end in February, she she going to the hogshead. you don't That's even get a there. break, right? Rebellion. Right. So, so you'd finish up your one term, and then you just, so you finish up your one grade, so you finish up 10th grade, and then not even a month later, you go to 11th grade? Wouldn't that be a little weird? Yeah. I mean, I guess you have a month of a break, but I just feel like... Natty must be around here somewhere. Hello. Revelia. Hello, young one. Natty's wand. Huh. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Revelio. Matty must have been taken this way. I need to find her. <laughs> Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Revelio. Andy, can you not go under my desk, please? The hidden door. Cool. Matty Thanks must for have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. My cat has denied me from listening. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Alive. Only a Hogwarts student would be arrogant <laughs> enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. Andy, Andy. I'm so stressed. Andy, please. I hear you. Whoever you are. Stop that! 
Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Revelio. Rebellion. Untempered meander into the mine brings sure ruin. No more. So When you get to another, what's his name, Sebastian? Mm -hmm. Like, let me know. I have to go do a couple things, but like, let me know if you get to a Sebastian. Okay. I'm gonna I'm dip for a moment. Behave. I'll be, I'll be back, kids. Or maybe not, unless you guys are asleep. I don't know. But oh, yeah. We'll be here. Always cool. Any Thanks, about guys. Herbology, this one. What a laugh. Go on. Name nine herbs. You see, the funny part is you're you, right about to get another Sebastian quest. What's that? No way. There'll be anyone there. I mean, no way for killing. I love how when I entered this area, she was like, oh, I better be not be somewhere. seen. And then she started blasting. And then I started blasting. You found us. <laughs> I knew you would realize I had left my way. Over here. Bring you out. Okay, hold on, Maddie. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty mm. was not able to summon my wand. He had to be blocked by something. Rebellion. I don't know about you, but I think it's cute. Mr. That was the first thought I had when I saw this guy. I don't know if it was the hat or what. Yeah, he's cute. Not my type, though. Yeah, I know. Your type is Sebastian. Right, it is. <laughs> Mr. Rabe's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. 
Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Um, yeah, I already killed them all once, so it's fine. <laughs> and oh, look at again. that. They they don't respawn, so. She's like, oh, never mind. You killed all of them. Good job. Yeah, about that fight, Natty, uh, not necessary. <laughs> Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, why do I feel like I she's secretly an Ashwinder? Do, you are taking great like she's risks. not doing Next anything. Time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. The Ashwinders have ceased Aww. to me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're oh, just oh, leaving oh. for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Oh, good, you're safe. Yes, Poppy, I am safe. What did you... There you are. You were in such Never. a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in haunted Yeah, Island. wow. It got to her. Who would have guessed? Is she all right? Who would have thought? Fine, thank it's not they like I literally said house, that at the house. end of our last you quest. I sent the egg there. <laughs> she said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. Really? Really, we couldn't have? I underestimated the poachers. It, it, was, it was a thing that nobody could have seen coming. No, no, not you? at all. The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Where exactly are these snidgets allegedly hidden? I love how one Gran of the questions the is, what's a snidget? Crack, even though I literally good. answered a Perhaps trivia question about it earlier. To find the birds. I guess this From might have been the where you need to find the answer the to it. finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. 
Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidgets feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. <laughs> exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Now what am I supposed to do? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. You know, isn't it crazy how that, like, is an actual thing? What do you mean? Like, like on one hand, it's <laughs> ridiculous to, like, you know, think that these bells matter at <laughs> all. But on the other hand, these bells actually did help some people do their things, you know? And, like, who knows? Like, yeah, I'm not gonna say, oh, you know, maybe they wouldn't have been who they were if these bells didn't exist, but, like, it's it's a really small thing. Like, you know, it, the bells affected them, and now they affect, you know, everyone there at Hogwarts. It's, it's really cool. I like it. It's like how people could say, like, oh, I went to the same school as Ashton Kutcher, or whoever is important. Huh. The bells must be upstairs. I absolutely 100% will forget where it is. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Um. 
where... Too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. It's such a beautiful melody. Wait. I, never, I thought for a second there, because like I'm pretty sure I did the same thing you did and randomly got it. So I don't know if like there's an actual combination you figure out or if it'll accept them out of what. I just went by size of the bell. So it seems to be right, but it sounds horrible. Oh yeah, no, it, it, it always sounds horrible, I'm assuming. I think it might be one of the jokes, but I don't know. Maybe they really did think that sounds beautiful. I'm sure it's got like some nice tempo or, or, or like vibrant or, or something. Protecting the snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. Sure. Don't know how much this means. Hello, are you here for Summoner's Court? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose, I mean, play a match? <laughs> of course, Charlotte. Then may the best Summoner win. The best Summoner win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I played against her and I think she <laughs> hard in yeah. the play. Wait, no, never mind, it was the next one. Right. Precisely as planned. Someone around the world. Here. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Playing here. I don't like this mini game. Precisely as planned. Hmm. Nice technique. Akio. Is planned. Right, so I automatically win no matter where this one ends up. Thanks. Hmm, nice technique. Wow, you are good. Only something I don't know. too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I play by intuition. 
natural skill and all that. That's been my strategy. I suppose it only gets you so far, though. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. Is it Sebastian? <laughs> Why do you think it's the best? You're laughing, which tells me it is. <laughs> Not everything in this game is about Sebastian. You are literally <laughs> laughing. I just thought it really funny. Uh-huh. Like, like, uh-huh. Sebastian. Yeah, sure. It, yeah. It's not it's, it's not it's not Sebastian. I'm <laughs> thoroughly convinced that it's Sebastian. You're about to have your eyes wide open when you see it's not Sebastian. Is it ominous? <laughs> Cause that'd be fucking funny considering it's a game you have to see to play. <laughs> Here it goes a little yeah. something like